You may have heard of fenbendazole. It's a deworming medication used for animals. It's gaining attention in the cancer community. Some findings are preliminary, some are stories from patients, but many are sparking real curiosity. But what types of cancer are people actually using it for? In this video, we're going to break it down. If you are exploring integrative or alternative options, you can chat with an integrative oncology nurse at healnavigator.com. We'll drop the link below to get in touch with us. First is pancreatic cancer. It's aggressive and often resists treatment. Fenbendazole may work by disrupting how these cancer cells process energy slowing their growth and spread. In lab studies, aggressive breast cancer cells reacted more to fenbendazole than healthy ones. That selective effect could mean new hope for advanced cases. With chemo-resistant colorectal cancer, fenbendazole has been shown to block growth and trigger cell death. It might also target cancer cells through a special process called ferroptosis, which isn't hit by many other treatments. You might have heard about Joe Tippins, who became well-known after using fenbendazole in his own protocol for stage 4 lung cancer. He's still cancer-free today, and while every story is unique, his journey has inspired many to look deeper. People have also shared accounts of using fenbendazole with kidney, liver, bladder cancer, and lymphoma. While personal stories aren't proof, they are prompting researchers to take a closer look. Now, fenbendazole isn't risk-free. Long-term use can affect your white blood cells and immune system. That's why it's so important to work with someone who understands your whole health picture. An integrative oncology nurse from Heal Navigator can help you build a personalized fenbendazole protocol based on your condition, medications, and goals. Head over to healnavigator.com to get in touch. We're here to help you explore integrative tools for cancer with care, compassion, and clarity. If this was helpful, please like, subscribe, or share it with someone who might need it. And let us know in the comments if there's a topic you'd like us to cover next.